Okay, let's learn how to baste a hexi. So here I have a hexi template. Uh, most are made out of paper. I prefer to use a an embroidery uh, stabilizer. This one is medium weight. It almost feels like a stiff dryer sheet. Now the reason why I enjoy using these over paper is because I don't actually need to take these out after like you would paper. Um, I do cut them with my AccuQuilt and so I'm going to use this in replacement of paper but you would use this just the same as the paper templates. Okay and I've got my hexi fabric all cut out here and I've got my glue pen. Now, I'm gonna get this ready. Put a little dab right in the middle and kind of get this in the center. Now all I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna glue onto the template and then fold it over you want to find the edge of your template. You're gonna try to not um, fold over the template. So we're, all we're gonna do is continue gluing and holding it down, especially because this is a bit of a thicker fabric, so it's gonna need some extra help being to stay glued. But instead of just putting it on the template, I'm gonna put a little bit here Okay, so that when it folds over, now that creased corner has some glue too. I am not stingy with my glue, <laughs> primarily because I don't have to take the papers out. If you happen to be using papers, you probably would not be using as much glue as I am. Okay, so now we're at the last fold and I'm going to put a little glue on both sides of the fabric as well as the middle part of the template. I'm gonna make sure both of those corners are folded in. Now you could put a clapper or something on top of it just to secure it, but otherwise that's it. You've got a lovely little hexi.